Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. So today we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville slash Real Housewives of Atlanta, but primarily Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you guys are here. And um, it is because the season finale of the season 15 of Real Housewives of Atlanta concluded filming this weekend, you guys. And guess who was there? Guess who was there at, you know, the taping and everything else, you guys, none other than Sheree's on-again, off-again entanglement, Martel Holt, you guys. And why is anybody surprised? While Melody Sheree is throwing this great roller skating party for, you know, her two daughters and having a grand old time and everything else, Martel is out still seeking the clout, you guys. Martel is still out looking for the clout and his side chick or whatever she is decided to, you know, post a subliminal quote on her story saying the following, saying, I woke up to a healthy body and working organs. I woke up to knowing when my next meal is coming. I woke up to be able to shower. I woke up in the comfort of my own bed. I woke up with clothes to wear. I woke up with my favorite people still in my life. I woke up grateful. Um, so there's that. So when she's not bashing people, when she is not bashing Melody Cherie, when she is not mad at her baby's daddy for disrespecting her and embarrassing her and continuing to not acknowledge her, you guys, um, you know, she's now trying to post this subliminal quote as if she's unbothered. And obviously word must have went out to somebody because I have yet to see photos of Martel and Sheree. However, lots of verified accounts um, have confirmed that he was there. So I don't know if this was like a little peace offering because, you know, as you guys know, for Sheree's birthday, Martel was in those photos and it caused a bit of a stir. It caused problems in paradise with the side chicks. So um, now all of a sudden we're, we're having to hear second and third hand, you guys. Come on now. Come on now. Why do you have to hide and not take any photos or any video or any footage if it's not a real relationship? Why do you have to hide from the cameras, even though you're going to be on camera with Sheree, if you're not involved with her? And see, this is the same lip service that Martel would tell his side chick when he would try to downplay his I don't know marriage to Melody Cherie and say that, you know, he's doing everything for the cameras. What? If you guys weren't together, you guys would have been divorced a long time ago. You guys would have been divorced before the show even made it to production, you guys. Um, but again, this is what happens when you are a mistress. This is what happens when you are the side chick. This is what happens when you are the bust down and you believe anything that a married man and an unavailable man tells you. And he doesn't respect you enough. That's why I don't know how I believe, you know, whether or not he really is trying to get the side chick on the show because there's nothing relevant about her to have on the show for. That's why he keeps going to Atlanta to film with Sheree Whitfield and trying to gain clout off of that, you guys. If there was anything to gain by having the side chick on Love and Marriage Huntsville, uh, we would have been seen her, you guys. But there's nothing to bring that she's going to bring that we don't already know. And we know for sure she's not going to have these cast members approve for her to be on there. But there's nothing to give now. Martel and Melody Sheree are no longer together. Melody Sheree has removed herself from Martel Holt. And, and so it's a done deal, right? And that's why Martel keeps going to Atlanta because he cannot have what he wants with this show, with Love and Marriage Huntsville. All these attempts that he has to try to slander other cast members, all these attempts that he has to try to paint Melody Sheree in a bad light have all failed you guys have all failed so of course any and every opportunity that martel has to you know gain clout to be seen somewhere else to be filmed in atlanta at yet another event that you're quote unquote not involved with sheree with okay you again continue to push this false narrative right you continue to push this false narrative that you want your quote unquote real life shown but you are fine to go to atlanta all the time to film a fake storyline with shrey 
Like, make it make sense, you guys. But 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 even more than that, it's a fake storyline because we really don't know the extent of this outside of it being an entanglement of some sort. But this is the one event up until this point that nobody has footage yet of you. Nobody has footage or photos yet of you and Sheree. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. And this can only mean that something more went down, you guys. This could only mean something more went down and Martel likely lied to his side chick and told him that he had to go out of town for work. That he had to film an event for Love and Marriage Huntsville, you guys. <laughs> I mean, it's just embarrassing at this point. It's just embarrassing at this point. And people who do clownery, this is what you get. This is what you get for continuing to entertain, entertain the foolishness, right? You continue to entertain the foolishness and you get played exactly in your face and you get played and treated accordingly. Uh, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. What do you guys think of Martel, you know, once again appearing in Atlanta for Real Housewives of Atlanta filming? And um, this is the one time we do not have the receipts yet. We do not have the footage or the video yet of Martel in Atlanta, but we know that he is there from verified accounts who were also at the filming of the finale episode and um, seems to be trying to keep it a secret from his side chick, you guys, so that he doesn't have to pay child support. <laughs> like, make it make sense, you know? But this is what happens. This is what happens, and I feel sorry for nobody in this situation. I do not feel sorry for Sheree for continuing to have terrible taste in men and also being a scammer. I have no, you know, sympathy for Martel, who is also a scammer and a cheater and everything else and a copycat. I have no sympathy for the side chick who continues to embarrass and play herself thinking that Martel is a prize, who continues to ignore her, disrespect her, and, you know is willing to be seen with anyone else that gives him clout but her. So there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post some content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.